week before the race, I spent time with Tim and Victor at Lake Hartwell. We are upstate ultra runners. That's how we met. I grew up in the upstate, but I think this is my first or second time here. I did jet ski one time when I was younger, but not sure which lake it was. I think it was here, but I can't guarantee it. We camp on the lake, almost like a beach, kayaking around, my first time in this continent. Did some runs, chilling in the sand, grilling veggie burgers, watching the sunset, taking pictures of the stars, and the best part were just talks and stories around the campfire. We had a great time, but then we had to head back to rest up and prep for the 24 hour race coming up. Mom helped me pack. Got everything in here. Cooler, nutrition, race gears, made a list. Might sleep in the car today. I might set up a tent. I don't know yet. I do have a cold sore, so for the past few days kind of hurt, but uh, I guess it's okay. There's my tent stuff. I just got here, saw Kendall, Drew, and Mark. Um, I'm gonna be camping with that at right over here. Yeah, uh, today's Friday, about six o'clock, I think. Yeah, 5.56. And um, my legs, or my knees and tendons, doesn't feel fully recovered yet. So hopefully, I get a good night's sleep tonight and be ready tomorrow. But you know how it is at a race. You know, you get all pump up and it's gonna be okay. Um, yeah, so the drive was worthy, uh, kind of tired, so I'm glad that I came tonight instead of driving tomorrow morning. Otherwise, I'd be tired by the time I get here and have to set up stuff. So uh, it's good just to get here a little bit early, set stuff up, and then get a good night rest. I had a few folks came up and yell, Mango Runner! I can't deny it. It feels pretty good to have someone recognize me. As you can see, my channel isn't big or popular, so I wasn't expecting runners to come up and say hi. I'm not a pro athlete or anything, I just, just want to share my experiences and what I learned to help other runners. Because when I started running Ultra about 5 years ago, I myself was looking for channels or videos that would help guide or show what it's like to go through a 100 mile race. So hopefully this channel helps viewers like you if you are running ultra races or just getting into it. Probably can't see, but just got the tent set up. Drew and Mark left, uh, they're gonna come back tomorrow. Me and Kendall's gonna be here. And uh, gonna go to the restroom real quick and then get some rest for tomorrow. Here's Moses trying to go for the course record today. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Kendall. So you, bro, pace it in. Got the job. So you, bro. Get it in. Good birthday. So you, job. Job. Let's go Drew! Hey, good job! Let's go buddy! Let's go Mark! Let's go guys! Good job! Got the Upstate Ultra local seat. Hi Stacy, you ready? Yeah. Oh, you're 
I have a lot of heavy stuff, but I'm much slower, so I, I need to get my nutrition and fluid in. <laughs> Alright, Frank. Hey, good luck, bro. Have fun. You're supposed to be wearing that on your head. Just started. I'm gonna take the first lap and two to figure out where I'm gonna run and jog. Really trying to go for the first at least 25 miles, and the first 50 miles, around 11 to 12 minute pace. I need to slow down because uh, it's going out a little quicker. But right now, I think it's like 11, 11 pace, so it's all good. Just chill, relax, and enjoy. So we're past lap one. Uh, overall pace was like 11.35, so which was good. And uh, this is the first time I'm wearing the hammer jersey. Last time uh, I dropped it somewhere and I couldn't get it in. But I remember it this time. 34th place after the first lap. And the second is 30, so it's okay. You can hit the restroom real quick. So after the uh, after the third lap, I got from 30 to 23 or 24. So moving up a little and really just maintaining my same pace or actually slow down a tad bit. Um, it's around 11.40 now. So I'm gonna try to jog and get up to like 11.30. The first 25 miles I can stay at around 11.30 and 12, if I slow down and get to 50, that'd be good. Like stuff like this, I can probably jog. Um, I'm slightly up here so I just walk for now, but I can actually jog on here later as well. Um, it's probably on average about three minutes off, three minutes on throughout the run. And it's feeling all right, but the heat's getting up there, sun's up, it's getting warm, humid, drinking a little bit more water. So I uh, need to get some electrolytes in after this loop. this loop it's gonna be a little bit over 15 miles gonna get a protein shake in and uh, walk for a bit just to let it digest get some uh, electrolytes and duralites because my inner thigh is feeling a little cramped up a little bit not too much but I need to get it in before it does cramp up John burgers do you okay. need me to get anything else from there and I got this little thin bread so okay when you uh, want one I can make you one for yeah I probably place. don't need any yet Look who's here! Hey! 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 I should probably run if you're going Yeah! <laughs> you should! <laughs> How you feeling? I'm alright! Some time for a bit of like... Relax? Kind of, yeah, calm down. Yeah. Let's go Mark! Let's go baby! Let's go! How you feeling? Good. Good. Horrible. Ah, same here. Alright, uh, just a quick update. Slowing down a little bit. About 24 miles right now, I think. Once I finish this, it should pass 25 miles. And uh, overall, overall, oh, overall pace right now. Oh, poison ivy. Oh, that's not good. But uh, overall pace is uh, 11:50. So try to keep it at under 12, the 25 mile marker, and then hopefully I can maintain that for the next 25 miles, which would be a little bit tougher. It's getting uh, warm and hot now, and five hours and 19 minutes is guessing around 27, 27 and a half miles right now. And on pace for right now, it's 11.53 per mile pace. Um, gonna go lap at a time, trying just to keep it around 12 minute mile. You know, it's gonna get slower, but uh, 
see if I can get there with 50 miles to go. Once the sun goes down, it's gonna get cooler, so that's gonna help, but your feet be, you know, standing or walking for a long time, and that's gonna be uh, pros and cons. It's gonna hurt then, but uh, you gotta take it a lap at a time, right? Not 10? Man. All right, in eighth now. 10 laps. Guess that's 32 miles. Oh, that looks nice. I'm gonna get up there. It'll be fun, but not now. Getting tired, it's getting cooler. So that's good. Cloudy, not sure it's gonna rain or not, it's calling for it, but it might rain, it might not. Oh, okay. Alright, it's about 8 hours and 17 minutes. About, I'm guessing, 41 or 42 miles close to it. Tired, kind of hungry. Tim is making me a Beyond Burger, veggie burger. Kind of walk after eat that, but uh, fatigue is setting in. It's gonna get dark a little bit. Gotta get my headlamp uh, ready because in the woods it gets darker than outside. So. If sun sets and it gets dark at 8.30 in the woods, or it get dark like around 7.30, make sure you have your headlamp. It doesn't weigh that much, so just put it on. Hey! I to you first uh, go. Yeah, thank you! Okay, okay. Awesome! Where's he at? Is he uh... I don't know, he's going at the bottom. Gotcha. Thanks, Lily. This is my Beyond Burger. Okay. This is very, very good. Thanks, Tim and Lily. Oh. I'm eating. Let's do. Hey, what's up, bro? Got some camera. I got Drew. Got Rich and the dog. Woo! Get up, buddy. What do you got there? Beyond Burger? Jogging. I took a little, like I laid down in the back of my car just for a tad, like yeah, maybe five minutes. But how do you feel? You get me on video. Yep. <laughs> I think I laid down. <laughs> I feel pretty good now. That's good. You know, I just put my feet up a little. Yeah. This is uh, lap 14 right now, and I'm feeling very, very low right now. Last two laps been very, very slow. More walking. Less jogging. I don't know, it's because I just had the burger. But it was tired, so hopefully I feel better in a little bit. All right, coming up to our A station. Yeah. We're here. Half a mile left. Yay! Timmy! Hey, Ian! How What's up, brother? Yeah, y'all finally uh, caught up with each other. Alright, I think this lap 15. Okay, past the uh, loop 15. 15 and a half is 50 miles. And uh, I got maybe a mile left. It's 9.57, so it's gonna be close to 10 hours and 15 minutes for 50 miles which is good if I can keep the same pace but it's slowing down a little a little bit here and there and the race hasn't even started yet it's not even seven not even mile 70 yet and I'm starting to feel exhausted already so but I keep trucking it hopefully I feel better 
We're about mile 50. Got Sam and Frank right with me here. Say hey guys. <laughs> Guys, keep it up, all right? Good, Good job, job buddy. Man. Good job. All right, just past 11 hours. No, 53 miles. Just 16 loops. This is loop 17. And I'm just exhausted. Tired. I took a five minute break. Prop my foot up. And, uh,. Just rest my feet for a little bit and then I went back out again. Ah. This is where it counts through the night. Can I go through it or not? And can I jog a lot like I do in the morning or during the daytime at least? Thank you. Yeah. you got it, you got it. It's like an hour and two minutes. Suspecting Fourth man. still? Dang. Okay. That's him here. Pacing hey, hey. me. Hey, I'm about so to go good. to sleep. No, you <laughs> I'm not gonna allow it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not allowing it. This is A station. Look at this fire. Fire. Oh, 61. Oh. Oh. 61.75 miles and I am exhausted. Damn. I think the mango runner is out of commission. No, he's not. He's killing it. Oh. All that running you just did. Yeah. Mile 60 something, right? Like 61. <gasps> 100K! Let's go Let's for 100K! Let's do it. Let's get that second one. Tim's pacing me, I'm crossing the finish line, I'm trying to see how many laps is it? 20. Oh crap. 20. Oh, that's gonna be tough. Seven AM Saturday morning and I just got up to start running again. Last night was a rough night. So last night around I'm say one or two o'clock, I had a really upset stomach and I couldn't get stuff in and I tried to eat stuff and I just threw it up. Um, very exhausted but I was really really dizzy when I tried to get back up and going again and it's really similar to the sickness feeling I was when I was in the Vietnam Mountain Marathon where I just threw up and I just I guess lost my electrolytes or no I guess calories uh, I don't know exactly what happened my legs were still okay it was really sore like normal and tired but the stomach didn't work well my head I think from my head up or well, stomach up it just felt really really sick uh, yeah I couldn't do anything I pretty sure I couldn't even walk a lap or two so we I decided to get in 
crashed, but it took a while because we were trying to get some friends, Kendall, Natalie, and Tim were trying to get me to get food in, rest a little, and then try to see if we can go, but I just, I just couldn't. It just feels sick and, and dizzy. So I won't get a heart murder, but this guy here will. Nathan. <laughs> and his pacer, is it Sean? Yeah, they got us all at Country Mile. I'm gonna try to see if I can do three more loops left. If it's like an hour or a little lesser, then I should be able to do it. And that's gonna get to just 24 hours. Yeah, sucks. Not gonna get the 100. Didn't do well last night with the stomach issues and the dizziness. I guess you live and you learn. Alright, I'm here with Tim. My pacer. Back at it again. Back at it again because uh feeling much better. Got sick last night and stopped. Worst thing you can do. But uh, I guess I had to do what I had to do. But we're back here. 22 hours and about 38 minutes. I'm gonna try to do two more laps. So I have to keep on moving. So should give me about 80 miles. Epic fail in the hundred. But you live and you learn. You do them all. That's right. Just right. Eat next time. Yes. Do a little bit more. Just eat more next time. Hi. All right. Got my pacer, Lily and Tim here. <laughs> Got like an hour left. Oh no, 56 minutes. It is. Okay, this is the last mile probably. Uh, we got my pacer there. Oh, Tim yeah. and Lily. Hi. Hey, Lily. Yeah, she's in here in the crowd. She's gonna be our future ultra marathon female. Rank number one, age 14. All right, finishing off. Well, that was it. I didn't achieve my 100 mile goal for this race. But I tell you what, what was better was the relationship you built around this type of event. Not only the trails were beautiful, but also the people. The volunteers, the crew members, the friends, runners and organizers that made it possible. So to everyone that came out to run, volunteer, crew, or just to watch, thank you. You are the trail running community. For now, take care and remember to love each other and especially yourself. Until next time, peace. For the good life, oh come on, turn your head.